Hey there folks, Antar1011 back with a new UU battle. My opponent is the same as last week, it's Piplup Master 11 We had a series of battles, two of them were UU battles, I used this team for both. Uh, my opponent used two slightly different teams. Anyway, my opponent leads off with Tangrowth, as I'm going to lead off with my uh, Yuxi. Sorry about the cracked screen, it really does look like I hit my DS, my fake DS with a rock or something, but... Oh well, whatever. It doesn't affect the battle at all. Anyway, I set up Stealth Rocks. My opponent goes ahead and Sludge Bombs. Uh, sludge Bomb is going to be resisted. Isn't going to do very much. I do get Poison, which is annoying because my Patrick has Heal Bell, but it wasted my Lumberry. The Lumberry is there for uh, if someone tries to sleep me, basically. It's the worst thing in the world when your Cleric gets put to sleep, and unless your Cleric has natural cure, in which case it doesn't matter, you just switch out, switch back in, it's all good. Anyway, back to the battle. Uh, we're swapping attacks. Not much is happening, we're not really doing much damage to each other, but I did get off my uh, Stealth Rocks, so that's great. I'm gonna go ahead and switch into Kazulu, because I, I mean, I know, of course, that the Sludge Bomb is gonna be super effective, but I'm especially defensive. Sassy in nature, I think 252 special defense. I think I can take it okay. And you know, as long as I don't get poisoned, everything should be good. Anyway, it does actually about half. I'm like, whoa, dude, but it doesn't matter. I just wanted the thing put to sleep because I, you know, I just wanted to put to sleep and I got it put to sleep, so that's excellent. Um, it is gonna, it is faster than me. It recovers leftovers. It doesn't the speed tie or anything. It's actually, I'm actually really curious what this guy's running, considering he's using both physical and special moves. Uh, I mean, mine's a sassy nature, so minus, uh, minus speed, and that allows me to do a mixed set. But anyway, I go ahead and send out Hugabug here, my um, Galvantula, and he's going to get a little bit more left of recovery on the Switch. Going to go ahead and predict my Bug Buzz. I'm going to go ahead and send out Sock. Didn't want to predict because I thought Tangrowth would have been a huge threat if it had ever woken up. So I go ahead and bug buzz here, and you know Sog is going to resist it. Not going to do very much. Not really surprising. But I think I'm faster, so I figure a good Thunder should kill it. And you know Thunder on Galvantula is great because it has 91% accuracy, if I recall correctly. So it's not very likely that it's going to miss. So I do go ahead and take out his Sock. And as you see, this is a Life Orb set which is great because that means I can switch out my moves and I have nearly as much power as, as if I were running choice specs. Not quite as much, but nearly as much, and I get a lot of the same KO. Anyway, uh, I'm not sure why I didn't just go for the Thunder here, but I decided to go ahead and switch out, go ahead and switch into my Golurk, take the Sludge Bomb, it's going to be resisted, and I'm not poisoned, which is great, so that's excellent, and it would appear, well actually no, I don't know, he probably doesn't want leftovers on his school of heat, so yeah, never mind. Uh, so, on the switch, predicting the switch, I'm gonna go ahead and set up a sub on the switch so I can sub punch or do whatever. You know, a sub is always nice. Anyway, Gyarados takes 25% damage from those stealth rocks that I set up. I mean, st uh, stealth rocks were an obvious choice for me considering this team. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, s set up my sub. That's not that great because I don't really have anything to hit him super hard with. I don't have Stone Edge on this set. Gyarados is going to go ahead and Ice Fang me, but I am behind a sub, so I'm going to take that. You know, I really could have switched out, but I don't like wasting subs. It just seems wasteful to me. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the Shadow Punch here. I think that was the better move over. Yeah, it was probably the better move over Resisted Focus Punch. And it, oh, I get a crit there, so yeah, it worked out well. Really sorry about that crit. It obviously mattered, because I was at minus one. I really wasn't sure how I was going to deal with... Oh, I know why I was attacking to begin with rather than... Well, I mean, I was behind the sub anyway, but switching out would have been bad if he'd gone for the Dragon Dance because I don't think I have any priority users. Oh, no, that's, that's true. I have Arcanine with extreme speed, but I don't think it would have been enough to KO. Anyway, back to the battle. Samurott comes out. I'm predicting the Surf or Water move of some sort. Instead, predicts my switch, goes for the Ice Beam, gets me down to below half. So I'm obviously going to need to switch out my Kazulu unless I want to fodder it. And so, I don't remember what I do here. Yeah, I decide to leave it in for Death Fodder, just so I can get in the free switch to someone else. So Kazulu is going to go down, and that sad pandas. Uh, poor little Tangrowth. That's a little, actually. But yeah, so now I get the free switch into Hugabug. I don't think this thing is Scarf, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to kill it. And indeed, my opponent's going to go ahead and switch out into Cobalion. But that's okay, it doesn't resist my Thunder or anything. Had Cobalion been out to begin with, I probably would have gone for the Thunder anyway. 
So Hugabug goes for Thunder. Boom! It hits. And I don't remember whether this is a one-hit KO or a two-hit KO. It is a two-hit KO, but very close, very nearly a one-hit KO. I go for the Bug Buzz here. Uh, 4x resisted, not a good move, but he was down to practically no HP, so I figured, eh, it's alright, it's alright. <laughs> and indeed, I do take him out, but that was a bad move, I think. Anyway, my opponent now sends out the Scullopy, and I decide, what the heck, I'm gonna stay in. Uh, go for the Thunder, see how much it does. I mean, my opponent is down to 50% health thanks to two switching ins to, uh, Stealth Rocks, and boom! Thunder's doing enough damage. So now, I mean, I'm, I'm taking, I think the only damage my Hugabug has taken has been Life Orb damage. Uh, I'm kind of wondering whether I should rebreed this to have 279 HP, because that would mean that each Life Orb recoil would do one less damage, but I don't know that that's really worth it. I, I mean, it, it's very rare that I can actually sweep with this guy, as I'm doing now. So yeah, this is excellent that my Hugabug is getting to sweep. But usually, I would say two, or th maybe three life orbs, or three attacks is pretty much what my Hugabug is going to average, in which case it's kind of a wash whether you know, that, uh, the loss of HP due to me lowering my HP manually is really offset enough by the fact that I'm taking less life orb recoil. Anyway! Bug Buzz is going to KO Sleeping Tangrowth. No surprise there, and I believe that is going to be the game. So yeah, great game, Piplup Master 11. Uh, I've got another battle with this team up on my channel now. I urge you to go check it out. So long, folks.